The first step required in installing the floor into the switch is to center it on a floor jack. And with it centered and balanced on the jack, we're going to roll it into position beneath the chassis. As you can see, the chassis is up on jack stands elevated to a height of about 18 inches. From here, we raise the jack and the floor raises up into position so that the front two bolts can fit into their mounting locations. These first two bolts are the initial mounting points for the floor. So we want to get those lined up and inserted into the openings uh, so we can start to connect up the rest of the floor. So once those two bolts are inserted and the floor is lined up, we can go around the perimeter of the floor and insert the other connecting hardware. As you can tell, we're putting the bolts in from the outside in, so the head of the bolt is on the outside of the frame. By doing this, we ensure that we have a nice smooth outer surface for the high voltage and low voltage conduits to run along the side of the floor. Um, if we did it the other way, we'd have a number of bolts and nuts coming through at different lengths and would not have the smooth surface for that conduit. So here we're going to look around the edge of the floor. It's all, all the nuts and hardware are inserted and not tightened yet, but just inserted so that we can make sure we get everything to fit properly. Yeah. Then once everything's connected, we can begin to tighten the bolts. And the tightening routine on this set of uh, fasteners is that the front two bolts, those initial ones that we put in at the very beginning, are where we start and then we're going to work our way back down the sides of the vehicle. And working our way around, we will tighten everything up, and this is going to complete our installation of the floor into the switch chassis.